Hello my fellow comic book collectors. This video is going to be my top 50 comics in my collection for 2021. Um, I have 50 books behind me <laughs> and I'm going to go through the list. But first I wanted to give a quick shout out and I had to write it down um, to Alex the Comic Hoarder. He's the one that started this uh, for me. Uh, he did a shout out to collectors to do a 50 uh, top 50 books thing so I wanted to give him a shout out just to say hey I'm you know responding to your shout out and so Alex the comic book hoarder uh comic hoarder I should say I'll link all the people that I mentioned in my description so you can check out their channels and their top 50s uh now here are some people that I haven't seen their top 50s yet and I think that they should make a top 50 list and I'll just read them uh team CGC 9.8, uh, Jerry the Jitterbug Comics, he's a friend of mine, and uh, Hydro, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra Comics, another friend of mine, uh, Newbie Comics, and G Journos Comics and Pop Culture, and Swaggle Haas uh, Comics and Games. So those ones, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a shout out to you guys, make your top 10, or top 50 of, uh, 2021 and I'd like to see what comics are in your collection and with that being said I'm going to show you the top 50 in my collection based on price these are like so there's a few that I'm actually waiting for that actually are a bit more expensive than the ones I'm showing but <laughs> these are the top 50 that are in my collection currently so um, with that said we'll start with this one and it's um Spider-Man number 13. So this is the number 50 book in my collection, and it's the first appearance of Mysterio. And we got Hulk number two, and it's in low grade. Uh, first Green Hulk, and second appearance of the Hulk. Justice League number one. Strange Tales number 110, first appearance of Doctor Strange. Adventure Comics number 61, and this is the first appearance of Starman. And we have Flash 105, and this is the first uh, title with Flash and also the first appearance of Mirror Master. So Flash 105. Ghost Rider number one. This is the first uh, Ghost Rider series. <laughs> so Ghost Rider number one in a high grade. So that's why I made the list. X-Men number two. I'm not sure if you can see that. X-Men number two. It's a restored copy, but it's a high grade and it's quite nice. It presents quite well. So X-Men number two. Giant size X-Men number one. And this is in a mid-grade, 5-0. And Mad Comics number one the first mad comic <laughs> and it's you know low grade but nice one uh, space adventures this is kind of a rare book uh space adventures number one and this is the first appearance of the atom a captain atom i should say okay captain atom um for those people that are interested he was also the character that was used as the model for uh the watchman Dr. Manhattan. So uh, if you're a big Watchmen fan like I am, uh, he's the character that they modeled um, the Man Dr. Manhattan off of. So kind of cool. <laughs> and next one is uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number 14, the first appearance of the Green Goblin. So let me zoom in there. Again, low grade. <laughs> okay. So expensive book. 
Uh, and then Tip Top Comics 173. This is the first appearance of the Peanuts. So Snoopy and uh, Charlie Brown, Le Lucy, all those characters. This is where they made their first appearance. Tip Top Comics number 173. And we have Superboy uh, 68. And this is the first appearance of uh, Bizarro. Then we have Spider-Man 129. And this is the first appearance of the Punisher. Kind of a nice mid-grade. And then we have uh, Captain Marvel Adventures number 26. This is the first uh, full appearance of uh, Mr. Mind. The little caterpillar or worm <laughs> that's in uh, one of uh, Captain Marvel's main nemesis. So, um, yeah, Captain Marvel Adventures number 26, and that's on a high grade. And then we have more modern uh, Werewolf by Night number 32, first appearance of the Moon Knight. So, Werewolf by Night, and almost halfway. Um, we have Ghost Rider, which is uh, Marvel Spotlight number five. And this is the first appearance of the Ghost Rider in a mid-grade, 5-0 grade. Right. Then we have a Gold Age, Golden Age of Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman number five. And this is the first appearance of Dr. Psycho. So yeah. You can see that. <laughs> okay. And then we have Brave and the Bold number 28. This is a very low grade. It's like a 1.5 or 1.8. Um, and it's uh, the first appearance of Starro, who's going to be in um, the Suicide Squad, the next movie. He's going to be in the next Suicide Squad movie, main nemesis there. And uh, it also is the first appearance of the Justice League. So this is actually a, a spec book as well. If you're interested in uh, a Suicide Squad, this might be a good one to pick up. So <laughs> this is um, Brave and the Bold, number 28, First Justice League. Then we have Detective Comics 233, and that's the first appearance of Batwoman. So, yeah. Justice, uh, sorry, um, Detective Comics 233. And next one is Police Comics number 11. And this is the first appearance of the Spirit. So a Golden Age uh, comic. First appearance of the Spirit. Then we have... Batman 121, personal, I really like this book. Uh, first appearance of Mr. Freeze. I think he was called Mr. Zero in this one. So he later got his name Mr. Freeze, but they retconned him later. But this in this, he appears as Mr. Zero. But this is Batman 121. And then we have Phantom Stranger number one. This is the first appearance of the Phantom Stranger. Very cool book. Very hard to find book, and especially hard to find in any good grade. So it's a really rare book. And next is Fantastic Four number three. Fantastic Four number three is the first appearance of them wearing suits. That's where they get their costumes. And they also show the, the headquarters of the Fantastic Four. I'm not sure if they mentioned that. Yeah, they also mention it. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's the headquarters and the first suit appearance, like where they actually wear their suits, their iconic suits. So. And then we have Wonder Woman 98. And this is the first Silver Age uh, Wonder Woman, and they retold the origin as well. So, 
It's uh, Wonder Woman 98. Then we have, uh, this one's a little hard to see, um, Tales to Astonish number 27. And this is the first appearance of Ant-Man, uh, not the original Ant-Man, which is Her uh, Henry Prim, Pim, uh, Pim, <laughs> Pim, <laughs> Uh, and um, it's before he has a suit. He actually gets the suit in the uh, a later issue. So this is the first uh, appearance of the original Ant-Man. Tales to Astonish 27. Then we have The Walking Dead, number one in a high grade. So this is uh, the first appearance of The Walking Dead, <laughs> the first issue of The Walking Dead. Uh, and it's, you know, kind of a cool uh, modern key. So Walking Dead number one, first print. And then Action Comics uh, 252. And this is the first appearance of Supergirl. I'm gonna try to show that so you can see. Lots of reflection for some reason. Okay, so uh, first appearance of Supergirl, 252. And this is another modern one, very hard to find modern key. This is uh, the first appearance of all the characters from Bone. So this is Bone number one, Jeff Smith. Uh, it is um, reasonable grade. Actually, this would have been a 9.8 but uh, somebody put a price sticker on it. And when they removed the price sticker, it ruined the, <laughs> it ruined the comic. So uh, it's kind of a shame, uh, but yeah, it's a nine, it's, it's an eight O. And uh, this is quite a pricey book, even though it's, it's, it's a modern comic, but it's the first appearance of all the bone characters. So uh, yeah, bone number one, first print. Next is All-Star Comics number five. And this is the first appearance of Hawk Girl. She's the first costumed uh, superhero, a female costumed superhero. So sort of a cool um, golden age key book. So uh, All-Star Comics number five. And this is before Wonder Woman. So kind of a cool first female superhero. And we have Amazing Spider-Man number two. This is the first appearance of the Vulture. So Amazing Spider-Man number two. We're getting down to the final 20. <laughs> um, we have Captain Marvel Adventures uh, number 18. And this is the first appearance of Mary Mar Marvel. And she's quite popular even now. And this is a Golden Age first appearance of Mary Marvel. Kind of a cool comic. Next one is Avenger, Avengers number one. Avengers number one. And this is the first appearance of the Avengers. And it has all the major characters, Thor, Hulk, Iron Man, and even has Loki. <laughs> so, uh, and Ant-Man down here and the Wasp. So it has like a whole bunch of the major characters and it's like a kind of a cool key to have. So that's some more bigger books. Um, Hulk 181, the first or second appearance of the Hulk, uh, not the Hulk, um, uh, Wolverine. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. Okay, uh, so this is the first appearance of, maybe first full appearance, you want to say that? Uh, first full appearance of the Wolverine and first cover appearance of the Wolverine. So kind of a cool comic. And this one is really going up in value. It's kind of crazy. Um, next one, another low grade, but low grade is better than no grade. <laughs> this is a 0.5. X-Men number one, first appearance of the X-Men. X -Men. So uh, Professor X, Iceman, um, uh, you know, Beast, all those characters. This is where they made their first appearance. And Magneto. So X-Men number one. Kind of cool first appearances. And then we get into Fantastic Four number two. This one is 
could have been cheaper, like a little bit lower on the list, but it is signed by Stan Lee. So it's a signature issue. So it's a little bit more expensive. So this is Fantastic Four number two. And this is the first appearance of the scrolls. So kind of a cool key that is really climbing in price right now because um, the scrolls are going to play a major role in Secret Invasion and in most of the the like um, Phase Five of Marvel. So this is they're going to play a pretty major role. So this book is really kind of heating up. And we have. Um, Detective, Detective Comics 225. This is the first appearance of Martian Manhunter. So it's kind of a cool uh, first appearance of Martian Manhunter. And probably one of these Batmans on the cover is Martian Manhunter because he can change shape. And <laughs> maybe one of these is Martian Manhunter. So, <laughs> so kind of cool uh, first appearance of Martian Manhunter, a character that I really like. Okay. Another character I really like is Doctor Doom, and this is um, Fantastic Four number five, the first appearance of Doctor Doom. So another book that's really heating up. Really hard to find this at a reasonable price. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Fantastic Four number five, first appearance of Doctor Doom. Next one, Daredevil number one. So low grade, but again, um, a low grade is better than no grade. So uh, 2.5, and it's a uh, first appearance of Daredevil, uh, Matt Murdock. So, um, or Murdock, yeah, Murdock. So yeah, so, um, you know, and Foggy Nielsen and uh, Karen Page. So yeah, so uh, first appearance of Daredevil, Daredevil number one. We're getting down to the final few. So we got a uh, journey into mystery, number eighty-three. So this is um, the first appearance of Thor, and um, yeah, it's kind of this one. I have a little, it has a little bit of restoration, but it's only slight. So yeah, this is one of my more pricey books. First appearance of Thor, journey into mystery, number eighty-three. that's the number 10 on my list like most expensive books that I have number nine on my list is Batman uh, 49 Golden Age Batman this is the first appearance of Vicki Vale and the Mad Hatter so uh, Golden Age Batman kind of cool and it's in a high grade 6.5 so a uh, pretty pricey book <laughs> uh, and this is the first appearance of Vicki Vale and the Mad Hatter Batman 49 Nice. nice Joker cover too, which is always nice. And then we're getting into more pricier books. <laughs> so this is my number eight on my list, top eight. Uh, this is a Wonder Woman number seven, and it's um, just a iconic cover. So where she's uh, Wonder Woman for president, and they look into the future and see that she becomes president of the United States. So it's kind of cool. So Wonder Woman number seven. Next, Fantastic Four number one. So this is the first appearance of the Fantastic Four, the team, except for the Human Torch. I, he made an earlier appearance. But this is the first appearance of the thing, um, you know, um, the Invisible Girl and uh, Mr. Fantastic. So this is where they made their first appearance. Fantastic Four, number one. And next one is Amazing Spider-Man, number one. So this is another hot book. Um, so Amazing Spider-Man, number one. And it's in a 6-0. It's restored, but it's uh, it's extensive res restoration, but uh, it's it's it presents very well. So Amazing Spider-Man number one. So now we're down to the final five. And we have Hulk number one. This is the first appearance of the Hulk, Incredible Hulk. 
and he was gray originally <laughs> in this book he was gray so uh this is the first appearance of the gray hulk too if you want <laughs> want to be you know precise about it so this is um incredible hulk number one so from 1962 that's number five on my list number four on my list is tales uh, of Suspense, number 39, and this is the first appearance of Iron Man, and it's in a high grade, so it's a pretty pricey book. So, first appearance of Iron Man. And next big one, another first appearance, first appearance of Spider-Man, Amazing Fantasy, number 15. So that's kind of cool, Amazing Fantasy, number 15. First appearance of Spider-Man. My copy is still expensive, but uh, it they they cut out a coupon. It doesn't affect the story, but it's uh, uh, it's just kind of annoying that they cut out a coupon. So uh, this is Amazing Fantasy number fifteen. First appearance of Spider-Man from nineteen sixty-two. That's kind of cool, Silver Age. And we're getting down to the final two. Wonder Woman number one. And it's in a high grade and it's the it's not I don't think it's the first appearance of anything but it's the origin of Wonder Woman and it's the actual the story from the original the the first Wonder Woman movie is based on this comic so this is uh, Wonder Woman number one from 1942 and it's a 7.5 grade so it's really high grade so pretty pricey book so uh, Wonder Woman number one and the last, my most expensive book from 2021 is All-Star Comics number 8. And this is the first appearance of Wonder Woman. So if you notice my list, I have a lot of Wonder Woman on it. I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman. And this is her first appearance. And it's a blue label and it's a 2.5. So even at a 2.5, it's an extremely Pisces book. So uh, this is the first appearance of Wonder Woman. And that's All Star Comics number eight. So that's the last one. That's my number one most expensive book. And that's it. That's my collection. Uh, my top 50 books for 2021. Uh, expect 2022 to be even bigger. <laughs> so I'm always looking for big books. So I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope the people that I did the initial shout out to at the beginning of the video, they make their lists because I'll, I'll, I enjoy watching people's uh top 50 lists and i hope you check out my other videos and thanks for subscribing please if you have your own list in the comments below put your link to your top 50 list and uh i just you know i hope that i can you know encourage others to pay it forward kind of idea that uh, we all do these kind of top 50 videos um, and it'd be really interesting to see everyone's collection thanks for watching Bye for now.